Shout out to Crown with 904 on the set with us today. Make sure you holler at him get that interview, baby. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Dre. You know what I'm saying? We here doing the HBCU Extreme Tour. We out here with some young ladies from FAMU, Florida A&M. Talking to these young ladies about they, you know, how they feel about coming to an HBCU. So we gonna start out and let these young, beautiful black women speak to the world, speak to the radio station, slide through the net, so y'all can understand what it feels like to be at an HBCU. Y'all ready? Yeah. Talk to me, ladies. Introduce yourself first, and you are? I am Nicole Bonner, a third year chemistry pre medicine student, Kelly from Jacksonville, Florida. You from New Bond, too? Yes, yes, yes. Lord. Me too. Y'all want to tell me about this. I can get that. Oh, that's the little sign. Oh, that's y'all people outside? Yeah. That, 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 that much start using that. <laughs> Watch out, though. No, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I know in Mississippi, I'm, I'm rented from Mississippi. So we throw that up uh, gang stuff. Oh. Yeah, 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 so I got to be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so we got to be careful with that one. I am Jasmine Sanders, a third year civil engineering scholar from Jacksonville, Florida. Loving it, man. And you? I am Taylor Underwood, a second year theater performance student from Dallas, Texas. Oh, you can tell. Look how you did it. Look how you spoke it. That's theater right there. I like that. You say? A little bit. I want to hear that same too. Ma'am? I am Aliana Jacobs, a first year computer engineering student from Port Arthur, Texas. Port Arthur, UGK. Yes, sir. Talk to me, yes, girl. Sir. PA, got Hey, hey. Greetings. I am Destiny Alana Slater, a third-year pharmaceutical science major from Fort Pierce, Florida. Come on now, Fort Pierce. Oh, people calling me. I got to call you back. <laughs> Fort Pierce. Where's mom? Florida. Florida. Okay, I ain't been there yet, but I'm happy. That's fine. I've been a lot of places, but I ain't been to Fort Pierce. Welcome. Hey. Greetings. My name is Renaya Battle, a first-year pre-nursing student from Miami. Yeah, Miami, you got a sister in the military? No, okay, I, I had a friend named Battle. I was tired of the game, so that's why I'm talking like that. Ma'am? Oh, my God. That's all right. Now, I want to get y'all telling me what y'all out here doing. Okay, so we on. Oh, I stay on the go. It's already recording. On recording? Uh-huh. Yeah, what's up? What's up? It's your boy Billy Jackson. It's your boy EJ. Yeah, Jacob. Right now, uh, you take a look at the table right now. It's my first uh, clothing line, my first pop the shop. Cap Apparel. Cap stands for Tomorrow Ain't Promise. So please come out and support. And we're going to get off the ground, man. And we got the U fam, U fam too. U fam, U fam too. And that's the support the culture of family. It's a family with y'all family, baby. So make sure you come out here and support black owned business. Get off the map. That's what's up. What's going on? What do y'all doing? We're the Technology Club. And if you got President Shannon, I'm the Community Service Chairman. I'm Shakira. I'm Shakira. Awesome. And we're out here spreading the word about the Psychology Club. We have a few brain games. We have candy and gift cards to give away if you win. As well as making stress balls, some DIY stress balls. Oh, how interesting! Have fun. If you yes. guys are interested, come check us out. Black Mental Health Matters. Yes. Mental Health Matters. Yes. I love it. Follow us on uh, Family Fight Club on Instagram. Keep up with what we're doing throughout the month. All right. So, tell me what you got going on. So I'm with Natural Life, and here we sell a lot of um, natural alternatives. Um, so we have topicals, which are lotions. What I want to know. We're on Nipsons Apparel. We're a clothing company for urban style clothing. And we're basically our main goal is to provide comfort to everybody. So our slogan is consistent comfort for the senses. And our name is called Omnipotence. And it's spelled with the word sense at the end. So it's all creative for all your senses. Wow. That is deep. That's a lot and deep. Wow. And this I love is our it. Emblem, and it has the O, M, N, and I inside of it. Wow. So that's the O. I definitely see it. Uh -huh. I'm an artist by, by trade. I definitely see That's it. So that is awesome. All right, I'm rolling. Wipe it down. I got please. you. How you doing? I'm doing Thank good. You. Uh, just tell me what you're doing out here. What you got oh, going on? You already know what I'm doing. Urban Vintage there. Every Friday from 10 to 4. We got hats. We got shoes. 
jacket, jersey, everything. Um, Urban and Big Fit Chair. So, y'all online? I'm online. You can see me on IG at Temple Finds. That's Temple and then Finds, one word. Shout out all my queries in the middle. What's up? Hi, you guys. This is my business. He reboots style, LLC, all black power shirts and it. You are born for this. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. This your boy Dre from Power 904, online HBCU Extreme. You know what I'm saying? I got some young bulls in the back. We about to talk to them brothers about their HBCU experience. So get ready for it. Get ready for the ride. Yeah. Bam. I'll let me players. How y'all doing, man? Yeah, 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 All right, man. Yeah, so yeah. we gonna basically want to talk to y'all about the HBCU experience. So. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go ahead and introduce yourself. Then tell me how I feel to be at an HBCU. What brought y'all here? What y'all gonna take from it? And what you gonna do in the future, man? All right, so greetings. I'm Gerald Williams. I'm a third year psychology student from Orlando, Florida. Psychology? Talk to me. I already knew. Yeah. I already knew. And you know, when I first got here, you know, people keep telling me like, oh, it's all party, party, party. But what people don't know is like the most success comes from HBCUs. So when I feel like, when I come here, I'm ready to do work. Mm -hmm. And then when I come out, I'm still gonna be doing work. But I'm having fun at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's a gift and a curse. Okay. Uh, greetings, I am Samari Brown, a third year pre-physical therapy student, hailing in from Orlando, Florida. Uh, HBCU life is definitely different. I ain't gonna lie, first, I, ain't, I wasn't gonna think I was gonna come here. But my, fam my friends and family all convinced me that it's like, yo, it's a great experience. You're going to have fun. You're going to learn a lot. And I'm actually happy I came here. I get to learn about my culture and, you know, see some fine black women at the same oh, time. Good. Good. <laughs> um, what I'm hoping to take from here is I'm hoping to learn a lot about my culture and I'm hoping to be able to spread that as I pursue my career. Yeah, yeah. Greetings. I'm Chris Williams. I'm a third year computer information major from Riceboro, Georgia, by way of St. Petersburg, Florida. And basically, yeah, just to touch up what everybody said, you know, we do have a lot of fun here at HBCUs, like, you know, here at FAMU. Every Friday, we be out here on the set, you know, a lot of turn having a good time. But it's also about the work ethic, you know, there's a lot of connections that we made at HBCUs, you join all the orgs, you get together, you have a great, you have a great time here, you know, you can match a lot of people in your major, and you get together, and y'all, you know, y'all work together, you all, you know, it's a very strong work ethic out here at HBCUs, you know, I get a lot of work done, you know, my grades are good, I know. And, but I can also have a good time at the same time. So definitely this is an experience that I would recommend for a majority of you know, young black people because you can definitely benefit from this experience. Indeed. So when y'all get done with college, when y'all graduate, what, what year is this for you? It's my third year. Third year, so you're a junior. I'm a junior, yeah. Yeah, man. You junior. Yeah, junior. All oh, y'all juniors? Yeah. So did y'all know each other before y'all came here or y'all met here? We met here. We actually yeah. met here. Met here. Word. Yeah. So that's his Hey, man, that's good. That's network, man. So hopefully y'all grow and continue to stay in touch and do some stuff together, man. Oh, right. Y'all move out. Definitely. So what are y'all plans when y'all retire, when y'all uh, graduate high, uh, college, man? I'm just talking about... Since I'm a psychology major, you yeah. know, there's a lot of things you can do in that field. It's so versatile, you know. Yeah. Guidance counseling, marriage counseling, I was thinking about that. That's what's but right. they also got like sports psychologists, so you know, you can just apply for like an NBA team and you know, people have like mental problems and all that stuff. You know, you can like talk to them and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right. You gonna stay here and do that or you going back home? Masters, I'm going to stay here. Doctors, I'm going to go back home. You see how you going all the way, eh? Yeah. Like that. What? Young fool! You got to have a plan. Man, talk to plan. me. Uh, me, I'm going to say I'm going to get my master's of PT school. Hopefully, I can stay here. Yeah. Um, after that, I'm going to pursue my dreams, and I'm going to become a physical therapist, and hopefully, I can open my own practice one day. Yeah, boy. Come on, man. I love it, man. Baby, yeah, I'm a third year technology student. And after this, I do want to, my dream job is to work at Nike. But I know those chances are very slim, and there's a lot of companies out there, like a major, my, I really just want to work at like a major tech company, yeah, yeah, yeah. like Google, Microsoft, IBM, Ranger, TI, any of those like major companies. That's right. And basically just get a job with programming, some system analysis, software development, okay. user interface, and uh, web security. And either one of those focuses. That's what's up, man. Hey, man, so y'all make sure before y'all leave, man, I want y'all to plug y'all info in here. So we can make sure we stay in contact with you young brothers, man. But we support each other, man. That's what we got to do now. We got to support one another. We support everybody else. And when it comes to supporting each other, it's like, oh, I don't want him to come up. You know what I'm saying? Because we the same skin color. I don't want you doing better than me. 
but we'll go get our money to everybody else. And they doing way better than us. You know what I'm saying? That's sad. That's terrible. And it's in our community. So we got to change that. And we can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because we already up there. So now we got to take the generation, which is you guys, run it. So man, y'all run this thing and take it. Baby, hey, 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 this is this, this your boy Dre again, Power 904, HBCU Extreme. And these young brothers going to get their plug. Let y'all know where y'all can find them at. If y'all want to stay in contact with them, support young black brothers and sisters. That's what we here for. Go ahead, brother. Y'all follow me on Instagram at Gerald2Saucy2Ys. Y'all follow me on Twitter at GAW1212. What it is, what it is. Follow me on the IG at Fresh Sauce. Follow me on the Twitter at ManiacSJB. Follow me on Instagram, the Young Vino, and on Twitter, my C Herbal Seven. Bye up. There we go. Good. Bush Level Power 904 HBCU Extreme, and I'm sitting right here with Miss Ariana. You gotta speak up, Lam. Ariana. Okay, Miss Ariana. Miss Ariana is one of the uh, students here at Florida AMU, AMU University, right? Florida Agriculture and Music. And mechanical. Dang! See, she done corrected me. Mechanical University. What does that mean to you? See, this wasn't one of the questions. That was the question. That's the experience, though. Well, to me, AMU is just a bunch of history and culture that you know you don't usually see. At, you would have went to a PWI or something of that sort. So it's like this is really a big family where you can come, you can learn, you can better yourself, and prepare to be in the real world. Oh, that's awesome. So where you from? I'm from Orlando. She's from Orlando. <laughs> what brought you to family? Um, honestly, this is the number one HBCU, so it was here or something less mediocre, like more mediocre. Okay. You know, I almost had a scholarship here, but I kind of ruined it. Back in 1993, probably before you were born. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I almost had one. That don't count. That was a long time ago. Really? Yeah. That's how you're going to do it? Oh man, where would be in the last ten years? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what does HBCU? What is going to a HBCU? What does that mean to you? And if you were to like speak to a lot of high school kids, you know what I'm saying, that was coming up the same way you came up or however through high school, wondering should I go to college or you know what's my next step in life? What would you say to them? And what would you tell them that the HBCU experience means to you? Honestly, like. Coming from a place that's not that like that's not really like college isn't talked about where you don't you know they don't really sit you down and be like well this is what you need or this is what you're supposed to do like, I'm a first gen mm -hmm. so really I didn't really have nobody to like sit me down and explain to me like my options and what I really want to do but when you come here it's like that like it's so many resources for you it's like you like you can't go wrong really like it's yeah. if you fall it's so many people that's gonna back you up and that's from professors to Deans, oh, wow. like students, everybody, like everybody want the best for you. That's awesome. That was great. Look at you. Thank you. So your experience here seems like it's wonderful. It is. Like it was one of the best things. So what is your major and what is your minor? So my major is information technology with a concentration in cybersecurity. Look at and you. That's a lot in itself, so I don't have a minor. Okay. Now, uh, you're a freshman, sophomore? Sophomore. Sophomore. So your first year of college as a freshman, how was that? <laughs> it was a lot because, like, it's a lot. Of, I will say it's a lot of parties in Tallahassee, but it's like you gotta have a balance. You can have fun, but make sure that you're in the classroom getting that work done. Right.